we have done with the IBGP between the R5 and R9 daughters. So these are my two customers. Let me recap. Okay. And uh, they have different, different locations. So I need to provide the VPN connection, right? Because they have a private address, right? And they need to extend the private address over there. Well, let me show you the configuration that we did to, on R5 because mostly you have to uh, do the configuration on R5 auto or R9 auto, right? Because all the VRF configuration, everything you have to do on R5. Okay. All done. So all we have nine daughters. So let me show you the first, like uh, you know, the basic uh, neighborship between the R1 customer side. So this is the Toplosi and also the this guy, right, R1. So IP interface video, just quick review, right? So we have IP configuration and show run section uh, with, I think which protocol is going to use. So IP protocol somebody, right? So nothing is there, right? Anyone has streaming which protocol I have used over there? So, right? It's OSPF1. OSPF1 over this guy. And uh, this guy should be deep, right? I think so. Drip and uh, R3 and R9 is OSPF1 again. This is EIGRP100. Yeah. Okay, and this is the OSPF1 again, right? Yes. And this is the EIG oh, EIGRP1, right? EIGRP1. All good. So let's do the same configuration. I I think so. Configuration is not there. So I'll go and router. I'll router is OSPF1. Network 15.0. Media 0 network. That's it, right? All good. Save this configuration. On R2 as well as, let's see the IP. IP is there, show run section uh, router. BGP is there. No router BGP2, and I'm going to configure the RIP over there. Router RIP goes into network. Network, network, 10.0. Also, they have, let me save this configuration, and also R1 has 10.0, right? Submit. Interface loopback number two. IP also for need zero, right? That's it. Save this configuration. R2 has done. Let's go for the R3 now. This guy, right? R3. And we have IP configuration, right? Show run section router. No router BGP 30, right? And save this configuration. So we have OSPF is enabled, right? So I am advertising all the route. See? All this three information, right? R4 now. It should be EAGRP, sir, on R3, R4, R5, R4. Oh, on R3. Okay, okay. Fine, 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 sir. R4, so IP interface brief. That's good, right? So run section router. Nothing is there, right? So let's configure the EHGRP, EHGRP 100 and network 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And see this configuration. R5, right? Need to check the VRF. Sir, but up, when you're configuring an R3 and R4 uh, network 0.0.0, .0 because both of them are advertising 172.7.16, right? Uh, then won't it be? Yeah. Um, so we have we have to basically see that separate route distinguishers are identified, right, for both. So when you're yep, doing yep, a network 0.0, yep. it will still come that way? Yeah, it's not an issue. Okay. Welcome. Show IP VRF. I have a VRF configured, RD is not set, right? And uh, show IP VRF interface. I have a proper IP interface configuration as well as, right? And uh, show IP interface brief. You yeah, see the 56.5 uh, is also there, right? And when we have a look back. Show run section. Get out of it. 
also. So router EHRP Henry, sorry, one, that is this network, right? Okay, this side, ISP. Uh, router so VRF one is configured on this guy. Router RIF is configured with the VRF as well as, right? And they did the, the uh, issues as well as, there's no issue. VGP one, and I have, uh, you know, the VPN people configuration as well as. Good. I'll do one thing. I'll paste in the notepad so you will have a clear picture of this thing. And let me know if you have any questions in this configuration. Okay. Good. So guys, the first thing, if you see, I uh, enable the EHGRP on the customers uh, on the ISP side, right? This point is clear. Then I did the VRF configuration, right? For the OSPEP, this submit, right? This link, okay? Then I did the RIP configuration, that is this guy. And then I found the BGP neighborship between the R5 to R9, and I found the VPN VPO neighborship, right? That under that, like you know, the address funny ID is to the protocol and according to the registration, right? That's it. Now, the next thing we need to verify the R5 that MPLS should be enabled, right? So, MPLS LDP enabled, it has to be enabled, right? Exactly. All perfect, right? R6, now we need to verify show IP interface brief, show run section here, GRP, and so MPLS. LDP never. All we good, right? Two neighborship we have. R7 now. All done. So MPLS LDP never. All done. R8 now. Awesome, right? R8 also have a two neighborship between the R7 or R9, right? Now, last one is R9. On R9, the most important thing first, we need to be so IP interface brief. That is this guy. So run section router. So if you see now, we have router EHRP on this side. This link, the ISP, then router EHRP 100. That is this guy, right? And router is one VRF Cisco, that this guy. And then after we have a BGP neighborship. And everything is so far good, right? And we have a VRF as well. So IP VRF. Interface. Oh, that um, autonomous system command, the EIGRP, that's a hidden command. Huh? Which command? The autonomous system command. Yeah, it's not a hidden command. I I couldn't find it. I had to... uh, I I know I know why I didn't find. I know the reason. I'll tell you. Don't worry about that. Okay. I found it. I I I mean I couldn't find it initially, but then I found it later. Then. Yeah, I'll tell you why this thing is happening. Don't worry. So all good right now. So I'll tell you. So first thing. So we have this is the Cisco table right, and we have a Nokia table. At the same time, we have a VPN VPO table, right? In the Cisco table, what happened? We have this information, uh, 1.0.0.0.0.0 and 10.0.0.0.0.0. Same thing, we have R2, uh, 2.0.0.0.0 and 10.0.0.0, right? What is the ad value of this person? 120, what is the ad value of this person? 1110. So once I'm going to, this is the OSPF information, this is the RIP information, right? And this is the BGP, right? So, after doing redistribution, what happened? This guy also sent the information to the VPN before, and this guy also sent the information to the VPN before. So I have it, I will have this information. Also, this one, whatever the 10 or 0, it will prefer the 
OSP account. Not the this one. Reason is very simple. Yeah. yeah. One uh, question yeah. in that. Uh, basically, I was not able to uh, get that uh, route at all, sir. Before yeah. defining the RD, right? I cannot get that VRF to come up. Awesome. Yeah, because what is happening is it is telling that VRF Cisco is, uh, uh, it's it's uh, possibly not allowed to do it. Uh, it. It first gave me threw up an error stating that it is um, uh, basically you are configuring it without an RD. It gave an uh, you know a statement like that, and then when I was trying to configure the IPOSPF one VRF Cisco, it said that. It is not able to identify that VRF since it's already there. But yeah, I was not able Sammy, to. Sami, 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 have a look. Achha. In a newer iOS version, you have to define the RD value, right? That is oh. the issues. In the older iOS version, you can define it without RD. Oh, okay, it's okay, because I, I was almost sitting on that for a lot yeah, of time yeah. and read books, and then finally it defined RD, and then it came. You can call me anytime. I already told you that. Oh, okay. Achha, All good, right? So now, guys. Yep. Okay, lo. Yeah, I just wanted to check. I wanted to make sure that you know people don't get stuck there. Ah, uh, don't worry. So in this case, what happened? BGP table is only going to maintain the 10.0 prefix, right? The thing is that we have a separate routing table for the Cisco. We have a separate routing table for the Nokia. That's why we have a duplication, right? But at the end, what happened? We have a I BGP between this guy and through this link, right? Through this connection, I need to advertise this route. And on this particular connection, what uh, routing protocol we are running? BGP. So I need to share this information with the BGP, right? And what a BGP is going to do is going to pick the best one, right? And who is the best one? OSPF. Yeah. Because both are the same route, right? Do we have any identification? No. I don't have any identification. It seems like you're like, you know, the uh, frame is A MAC address, source MAC address is A, destination MAC address is B, right? How does the trunk is going to identify? Or like a neighboring city is going to identify where should I forward the packet? Because B is associated with the 0 slash 0 and B is associated with the 0 slash 1 as well. So what happened? I need to put the identifier, right? The VLAN ID number. I need to put the identifier, that's a VLAN ID number so that the neighboring switches is going to identify, okay, this frame is belong to the VLAN number 10. And based on that, they will follow the packet to the appropriate interface. Same thing right now, what's happened in my OSP routing table, we have information in the uh, routing table, we have this information in the BGP table, what happened? Do we have any identifier over there? No, it's a still a 32 bit route. So if you see the R5, what R5 is doing over there? Show IP, BGP, VPN, V4, all. See? Okay. One minute. This is the slash trade was coming because of the OS to advertise the loop back as a host route, right? See? So now this information is to uh, completely removed from the routing table because of the just AD value, that's it. Just because of the AD value, this information has removed. Because the AD of this person, right, is a 120 that is coming from the other person, right? And this guy is coming from the OSP. That's a 110. So because I don't have identity, can you see that all this guy is going to maintain the single routing table information? Duplication will be not allowed. Duplication is not able to allow, right? So to avoid this problem, what we have to do over there? We need to define the route distinguisher, right? RD value, ASN number, right? 64 bit. This AS is going to represent a remote AS number.
this nn is going to represent that local router number this is the format right this is the format of the rd you can take any number you can take any number but in examinations you have to follow this steps i'll let you know the exam perspective as well as don't worry about that but right now i'm just going to use the rd value 1 for 1 for this side to just identify right now if you see i'm not having the 10.0 information from the rip side right just because of the duplication what i can do over there now nokia as the rd will 2 colon 2 and ipv are so let's go rd value now so ipv gp vpn v4 all wait for some time Online as well as possible. Then it will just take some time, right? Date it, which will be there. So R nine, same thing. IP we are of Cisco. R D will we can take any number, right? Now I'm just taking the three to column three. I'll let you know the a uh, way to define this thing. IP we are of Nokia. R D value. And done. Make it clear. IP, BGP, VPN, V4, Unicast, Strict. I have a new ship. All good. Can you see now? I have both information. In my busy period. This one that is coming by the Cisco, and this one that is coming by the Nokia, and based this is my identifier field. And this route is known as a VPN V4 route. Previously, if you just have a look, if you just go to the previous output, right? What was there? This information. Single one, just because of the ID. Just because of the ID, I'm preferring this path. Now, after that, what happened? We have an identifier, right? Now I have both information on my table. Same thing. If you just have a look on the R9 as well as can we have a look now? This is the concept of RD. If you don't define the RD, duplication will be not allowed.
what is the next problem is happening we solve it this problem right so now what happened sorry cisco nokia we have this information bgp we have all this path in my bgp right 10.0.0.0.0.0 1.0.0.0.0.0 the rd value one color one and then we have a 10.0.0.0 and one color one 1.0.0.0.0 color one rd value two color two this is my bpn pivot table for which you are r5 right now same way this side is happening R4 routing table, sorry, R9, Cisco Nokia routing table. We have a 4.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
whatever the route that has a rt value 1 colon 1 export it right in which table cisco whatever the i'm see from this side as well as i'm seeing that export it whatever the route that has a rt value 3 colon 3 in which table cisco so if this person is exported so on this side what happened i what i tell and if this person is exported what i'm telling in which table cisco don't make a confusion over there only you need to inject in the cisco if you making a different vrf route will be injected in the different table right now my question my uh, task is i need to extend this route to the this route directly to the this person not to the this guy same day whatever the rt value of this guy export it to colon two in which table And what they will do? Import it to column two in which table? Same way, what they will do now? In which table? What they will do now? In which table? Clear. Yeah. Right? IP VR up. Just go. Now target export. Which one? 3 colon 3. Now target import. 1 colon 1. Export it. Done. Who is Kani Khatam? So IP VGP VPN V four all. सब करो आएंगे आगे इट्स कमिंग राइट ठीक है इट्स कमिंग सेम भी इफ यू गो फॉर द नाइन नाउ Default we have Cisco, right? All we have information. Nokia, all we have information. And now if you go for the customer, R1 is getting all information from the other person. Can you see now? So R3 is able to send all this information to R1. And R3 is also getting the, sorry, R3 is also getting the same information from the side. One is not coming, why? Maybe the one is not a value.
Okay. That's not a point. It has to be done. Let me check it. R5 is receiving or not. Is receiving. And why I'm not saying this information to this guy R9 is just so I can be keeping it in before all. Yep, so that's what is coming. R9 is receiving now. In the saving, right? So show IP BGP, so IP VR. This one is also coming. Even the R9 is having this information in the, you know, the VRF table. Mm -hmm. So so thing is dot R3 will have this information. By R3 is not the only one. And that's not a big deal, maybe some issue is happening. So the route is interesting. Let's do one thing. Let's do it as another route. Or uh, maybe PS web into point point. Let's do an R1. I'm going to does the one route interface of back number 100. That's coming, right? No, it's coming. Take some time, maybe some issue is happening. Now, all good. So it's taking some time. Did it come because you configured that IP OS oh. network point to point or? No, that's not the reason. That's not it. I don't think so because on R3, uh, on R1, I'm getting all this information from this side, right? I didn't configure the point to point on this side. That's not a reason. Maybe take some time, right? R2 now. Do swipe root. All I need is all the deep information, right? And uh, R4 now. All I'm getting all the information. All good. So now if you go back to the R1, can I provide the communication ping 3.3.3.3.3 source 1.1.1.1? Up. Trace shot. Go get one. This is your MPLSB. Okay. Uh, you can hide it. You can hide it. You can hide it with the proper TTM. Oh, nice. Uh, Lord, will, will this ping even if we don't give that source? Of course, it will. of course, of course, hundred percent. Okay. Anyone has a question till this point? Uh, then I will explain you this part again. All clear, everyone. Uh, uh, yeah. Law. Uh, mm -hmm. My question is that that uh, VPN V4 routes, it's routed by BGP or MPBGP? 
it's BJ, rooted by the MP BJP, not BJP. BJP does not carry the VPN people or MP BJP carry the VPN people. Out. Okay. I so, made a VPN VPO okay. membership, not the IP VPO membership. If you just go to R5 and have a look, show run section BJP. I made a VPN VPO membership, not the IP VPO. Okay, so can you show me the link capturing and what packet they are sharing? Ah, well, that's under, under the MPPGP. That. Yeah, that's also, don't worry about it. Okay, now try to understand. How many labels are happening? Two labels. One for the MPLS Unicast and one for the VPN v One for the MPLS Unicast and one for the VPN V4. Try to understand one thing. If you just go back to the R5, I'll show you the first thing. So IP BGP VPN V4. Put the question mark all. Put the question mark labels. As I told you that in the MPLS Unicast, that LDP protocol is used to add the label only for the IGP prefix, not for the BGP prefix. Okay. And this is how the happening. Although for the BGP prefix, right? What is my label is happening? Oh, this is my all BGP prefix, right? Can you see? They have a separate label. All the BG bricks we have a separate. We are not injecting for the MPLS. We have a different level. If you see, so MPLS forwarding table, we have a different level for the prefix as well as. For the MPLS, for the BGP route, we have a different levels. For the BGP route, what happened? We have a BGP labels and use the BGP protocol. For the IGP prefix, what happened? We have a IGP label done by in a MPLS unicast, how many label is it happening? One. In the MPLS VPN, how many label is happening? Two. Oh, so what are we trying to conclude here? So BGP prefix, BGP label is one, is it? Is that is that what you're saying? BGP, no, no, label, uh, only one header, a stack header will be happening. You're asking this part? Correct, correct. I didn't understand what are we trying yeah, to conclude. I'll, 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 explain, I'll explain this part, don't worry, one minute. How will look? What is the MPLS setup? 20 bit level. Then quality of service cost. Then stack field. And then 8 bit, 3 bit. What me? Total is. In this stack field, what happened? If you're going to use the MPLS unicast, 
you will have only one level, maybe the 20, 30, 40, anything, 50 level, level over 50, right? For which prefix? One or zero or zero. Same thing, what happened? If you have a MPLS unicast with the MPLS VPN, unicast with the VPN, what happened? For this particular, we have a separate level. For this particular, we have a separate level. It means that for one prefix, we have a two level, level 50, and 60, 50 for the unicast and 60 for the M plus B. Same way, if you go for the traffic engineering, you will have a three levels, 70. For traffic engineering. Try to understand one thing. If you see, R1, R1 is saying the packet is a 15.5, right? In this case, what happened? Take example. Source will be what? 12.1, Destination is what? 3.3.3.3. This is the normal IPv4 packet, right? When this packet is coming to the R5, when this packet is coming to R5, on which interface? 0 slash 0. What R5 will do? R5 will look up the 3.3.3.3. This is on 3.3.3.3. So IP root. I don't have any loop back for the 3.3 or 3 in my routing table. Right? For MPLS, for routing table. It's not there, right? So MPLS, sorry, what this guy saying that I have a prefix three dot three dot three dot three, right? What is the next stop is happening for this person? So R five. Is saying, yeah, what R5? R5 is saying, according to my routing table, not routing, according to my BGP table, I need to forward the packet to whom? to 9.9.9.9. That is my next one. You have to clear it. This point is clear all of you. Now, if you come back, R1, which level is there? Take me go. Let's go in here, pick a little paste so that I can explain. Right? Which label is there? 29. The same label is there. Mm 
which level is this is this a mpls ldp level or vpn v4 level is a vpn v4 level right so what they will do now they will put the one level is what 29 okay now next up is what 9.9.9.9 now r5 is saying that hey where is 9.9.9.9 so let's check the where is 9.9.9 according to my routing table i have a 909 information this route is i am known by the agrp okay okay and according to my routing table i need to follow the packet home 56.6 right so it will look up the show mpls if you see tag is happening for this person i'm going to look up i'm going to look up for which person now show mpls forwarding table for a 9909 right Which tag is there? Two zero five. What I'm going to do now? And according to my MPLS forwarding table, where should I forward the packet? From which interface? Which operation I did? What? What is it? What are you doing? मतलब Do we have a BGP? R six not have a root and not have a BGP. R six is pure of MPLS four router. So what they will do? They will forward the packet based on the label. So I am receiving a label two zero five, right? A local. What we have to do? We need to. swap so i'm going to swap it 21 done one minute which, uh, which which thing did you swap it with sir the seven, r7 ka outgoing kya yes yes out out of level yes r6 yes out r7 ka out, uh, local level so r7 and local level diya tha r6 ko हाँ 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 done what R six will do again it will perform the label lookup and for the packet to whom R seven R six will follow the packet to the whom R seven right It's a pure level packet, so I'm receiving this packet on which interface? Zero slash zero. Zero slash zero is a part of the MPLS. Which table I have to look up? L fifth. Nine or zero dot zero or zero slash eight. If the packet is coming with the twenty one, I need to swap with the twenty one. Again, I'm going to swap twenty. And according to my L fifty table, where should I follow the packet? R eight will receive this packet on which interface? Zero slash zero. Which table? L five, right? R eight. Now. According to my L5 table, what is the outgoing level is happening? Pop the tag. 
which operation I'm going to do? My pop operation, PHP, and ultimate hop popping. What I'm going to do? I'm just going to remove the outer label. I'm just going to remove the outer label. Okay. And I will forward the packet to whom? R9. R9 will receive this packet. R9 is receiving this packet as a slash 29 right now. Sorry, 29 level, right? It's not receiving the MPLS level now because MPLS level is popped over there. R9 will receive this packet and what R9 is going to do? Hey, do we have a 3.3.3.3? .3 .3 .3 .3? According to my. Yes, I need to untag the packet. I need to forward the packet to whom? So I will just forward the packet to the 93 how? As a 15.1, basic killer. Oh, yeah, what's the order for the honey? And honey, yeah, just have patience. Okay. I'll explain you again. Now I'm just sending a single packet. Done. First, analyze this link. Second and rise R5 to R6. Yeah, I'm going to look for sexy level. I'm going to look like sexy. Level. Mess for is head of Hadas Bunner, the extra space later. I 
R five two. R seven to R eight. Swami is too far away, sir. The water travel is too far away for you. Swami, finally you are right. Then the C C exam the way. Then the number will come. C C will. Full far away, Swami. Right, this far to take it. The number. R eight to R nine. No sir, I am just practicing whatever you are teaching in the class. That's all, sir. C C I number lega ro. What sir? C C I number. Lenge na sir. This one. Ye thora sa registration. R eight to R nine, right? But this is the MPLS level. We can do. Bye. Here I'm doing the PhD. And then IP packet. चेतन तुझे ये हेडर देख के गरीबों वाली फीलिंग नहीं आ रही है ये हेडर देख के तोड़ो हाँ पाइप एमपीएलएस हेडर को देख के फेस की हेडर को देख गरीबों वाली गरीब वाली फीलिंग आ रही है ना ये गरीब जैसा लग रहा है ये आर नाइन टू आई बी यू फॉर बाइक ऑल डन मास्टर सो गाइस आवलो Well, let's make it look. Then uh, I'll explain you the things, right? If you understand this part, then it's good. Otherwise, I will draw it in the you know. One to five, right? That is this guy. One to five, normal IP packet. What is the TTL is happening? When this packet is coming to the R five, what about R five is doing? R five is doing the label. How many levels? Two levels. One for the VPN and one for the Unicast. This is this header is for the VPN level, and this header for the Unicast level, or we can say the LDP. What is the bottom of the stack is happening over there? This is the interesting concept. Zero, right? What are the bottom stack is happening? What I told you that in the, about the bottom stack. If you just coming to this part, okay.
एस डी वन आर एक्स सिस्टम If you're implementing the ampullus VPN, how many levels we have? Two levels. The top levels point to whom? Egregious slaughter, and second level identify the VPN. Same thing is happening. Two levels for the MP VPN, second level for the VPN, and uh, uh, first level for the egregious. So if you see, second for the VPN and top level for the unicast for the ampullus VPN. If you're going to implement the T, you will have uh, three levels. Right, and if you're going to implement the three plus VPN, you will have a more than three levels. Right, one minute. No. So this is the inner levels, outer level. If you have a have a T, if you don't have a T, what happened? If you don't have a T, in this case, what happened? This will be a outer header, outer level. We can say that, or this will be a inner level, right? Your core MPLS router. Your core MPLS router is going to forward your label packet based on the outer level. Your edge LSR, that is your R9, right? This guy. Is going to forward the packet based on the VPN level. All this router R6, R7, R8, all the core route right is always going to forward the packet based on the MPLS VPN. Right? Now, what bottom stack is going to do? The bottom of the stack bit indicates whether the label is the last label in the stack or not now try to understand if this bit is set to one the bottom is stack it indicates that this bit is the last label so try to understand if you're just going to forward the MPLS unicast packet. If you remember the MPLS unicast, I saw you this, I showed you that this part, right? The bottom stack. Every person has a bottom stack bit will be one. But in MPLS VPN, what happened? In your MPLS VPN, what this guy is saying that zero. Zero means what? After that, we have a, another label as well as if the zero means what? We have a more label. And if this one, it means that this is last label. See, for the VPN, this is the last label, right? And for the MPLS, this is zero level. If you just have a normal MPLS unicast packet, right? Normal MPLS unicast, you're not going to implement any kind of VPN over there, right? In that case, what happened? On every MPLS header, you will find the one bottom of stack that is just going to represent this is the last label last label means what there's no more than label right there's no other another label we have this is a simple ampullus us but if you have two labels like uh, if you have ampullus vpn in that case what i'm they'll just say okay zero this is going to represent i have another label as well as so that this is the guy that just going to tell this person hey you have to look up for the this part as well as you have to look up for the this part as well as this guy is just going to tell you, hey, kid, we have a more than one label. This is the bottom of the stack. And everywhere, right? If you see,
again r6 will send the packet to the r7 right can you see the difference is happening my label is still what same in your mpls but changes is happening in which label mpls label because up between the r6 and r7 right r6 and r7 i'm going to forward the packet as a label packet right then r7 to r8 what happened 21 i'm going to perform the swap operation but still my vpn people label is same because again this guy is going to perform the mpls label not the vpn repo label and what happened they will perform the php now what r8 is going to do r8 will send the packet to the r9 right as a vpn repo single label so in that case what happened your bottom stack will be changed now because this bottom stack one bit is just going to tell you okay i don't have a another level and after that r9 is just going to send the normal ipv4 packet to the this guy so from here the ttl is going to copy to this guy mpl setter copy ttl Hey guys, are you able to understand all this flow, or should I explain you on the GNS again in the diagrammatical way? A uh, lot. One question. So, did we uh, configure label range on R five? On some router is configured, maybe. Can you just? Check that, sir. On R five, is it configured or on R six? Because some ways, should... I think some ways it's configured. That's not a big deal, right? No, I mean like, why yeah. is it okay? Yeah, it's configured. But this label is not showing, no, sir. Two hundred, two hundred and five was showing. Uh, R five can label. This can't... I change. This I have changed for which person? LDP, not for the VPN people. Okay, but where was this? Uh, because on. On the packet from R five to R six, it was showing as two hundred and five and. R six R six is average water. So run section. And plus. See, it's so correct. It's running right. R six is going to assign the level two hundred three hundred. So it's running at two zero five, right? You have to check the outgoing level, not the incoming. Oh, okay. Okay. let me know if you have any questions in the mpls level side uh, yeah in r5 uh, r5 and r9 that mpbgp uh, header want to see yeah also one r5 r9 
Hey, brother. Mira. This bit I'm going to explain the, the what is the OSP of domain identifier, what is the use of this thing. Don't worry about that. Okay. We have a things. Uh, this is the part of like OSP in ID concept, right? Mentor, clear? Mm, got it, got it. Actually, I was searching, but uh, I didn't get That's why I'm looking. What, what are you searching? Tell me now. I'll help you out. Yeah, means that uh, I thought that MPBGP is like this, uh, it would be there. But here it's good, huh? MPBGP is there. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah, MP, it is there. So okay, That's the meaning of multi protocol ritualty, right? MPLS. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, fine. Now clear. I mean, I didn't understand. So MP MP BGP. It's, a no, it's not a BGP. It's not a normal BGP. In a normal BGP, how do you get it? Well, one minute. Sorry. One minute. One minute. One minute. I'll show you. I'll show you the difference. What's happening over there. Hey guys, did I taught you the BFD concept? BFD ho gaya hai. Nice sir. Dikra difference for me. This is a normal IPv4, though we don't have any MPLS field. We have an MPLS field. So what happened? If you just put a, a BGP border group for object masses, so what happened? We have an array information. Do we have an array information? No. Why? Because this is the MP BGP route, right? Not the VPN IPv4 route. So what happened? I'm going to use the extra attributes of the right. That will be of MP BGP. Mm -hmm. Multi protocol. That is this guy.
that this MP visible. Or in the MP, MP means multi protocol, virtuality and why. And in this one, I'm going to put the all the information like a you know the next top address right, and uh, that is five or five or five or five because I have changed this one, and uh, all the label stack information that the what label I'm going to use for this particular route and the route distinguishes are what are the value I've used for this one. And then after that, we have a MP prefix object. So this is normal one, and this is the this one. So when you say um, MP multi protocol, th does that mean that we're using both MPLS and BGP here? Is that what it means? That's something of multi protocol BGP. This guy is going to carry the uh, uh, VPN V4 routes. This header, the one on the left side, right? On the left side. Mean I right okay? Ajah, uh, so I mean, like the one that we are talking yeah, this about. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, this one. So what? Here we carry VPN V4 routes. Is that what it is? Yes, yes. This is the VPN V4 route. Can you see that? 30 to 64 bit. This guy. Correct. Correct. And 32 bit. This guy. 96 bit. And this is normal 32 bit. Okay, lo. Hope. This thing is clear how the packet flow is happening in the MPLS. Twist is now comes. That's Friday, na? Bahut tabe. Isko solve kar gaya na? Bahut, bahut chota sa question, bahut jada chota sa. So right now, all the sites is able to communicate. You can see on R2 also as well as I have all the information and I can make a trace sort as well as show you trace sort. All my label is happening right. No good. What I'm really wrong. I'm going to remove the AGRP one from the MPLS code, right? And I'm going to run the OSPF now. Area zero, right? Can we run? R6. It should be two, sir. Router OSPF two laga hai na apne. Wo nahi nahi wo shipta kam hi jaata. Then oh. uh, two again. Zero. Done. Wait for the time. And meanwhile, clear IP, BGP, or my BGP will also come. Don't worry. Well, please do the other configuration. So use configuration and please repair. Multi gas 
बीजेपी पर गया नीट ऑफ परफॉर्म द रजिस्ट्रेशन दो सौ रन सिक्सटी बीजेपी आगे ड्रेस ऑन ड्रेस ऑन पिंक हां पिंक नहीं होना चाहिए यार मैं कर रहा ठीक तो नहीं है दिस इज द वन ड्रिप वन देयर इज बीइंग द पीरियोडिकल वन मिनट स्लाइड पीरियड आपके नहीं आ रहा इसका बस ये कौन गाइस आओ लाउड है पिंग हो रहा है आप इंफॉर्मेशन कांट सर एक बार ट्रेस रूट मारो तो सर सेम आईपी अब ट्रेस रूट में पता है क्या होता है बता लो ट्रेस रूट में बता लो जो पैकेट यहाँ पे ड्रॉप हो जाएगी मार नहीं पे हाँ मार देगा आप सोच लो
We also have all information. Yes, I can buy Even the lock. सर राउटर ओएसपीएफ टू में क्या रिडिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर रहे हैं सर व्हाई आर वी डूइंग दैट ए अब मैं नहीं कर पाया अपने आप आ गया आई डिड डू दैट इट्स इट्स नॉट आई इज कमिंग द उस पर इट्स शोइंग द सो देयर इट्स नॉट कमिंग द उस पर ओके ओके ठीक है ठीक है दो देखो डिड आई नो इट्स जस्ट वर शोइंग द लाइक यू नो अच्छा इन्फॉर्मेशन Yep, yep, yep. Am I sharing this information with this person? Like all information, even the R five has to be stored with information. So, so I believe it will be in repo. Um, let's just go. तो रिसीव करके भी होता है ना सर सो आईपीवीजीपी रिसीव्ड राउट्स करके तो उसमें आ रहा है सर आर5 में सो आईपीवीजीपी इन फॉर ऑल नेवर नेवर 9.99 सर इन ऑन द वन एरर मैसेज तो यही नहीं होता दिया ओके यूजर आर रिप्रेजेंटेड काम ही कर रहा है I don't know why they are not using. Sir, this message even I see, sir, when I run it, uh, soft so soft recon reconfiguration inbound. चलाने से can we run that, sir? Soft reconfiguration inbound in production. No, you are not allowed to run that, sir. Okay, that's the different use. You cannot it. You you cannot it. But you yes. cannot allow to run the killer IPv6 stick hard. हाँ तो फिर आई कैन रन दैट सॉफ्ट रिकॉन्फ़िगरेशन इनबाउंड इज़ इट बट उसके बाद भी नहीं आता है सर नाउ डिड इट डिड इट कम फॉर यू आई एम नॉट शर्ट डिड यू रिस्टार्ट दिस वीक नो इट्स बेस्ट स्टार्ट दिस वीक ओके कर मुझे वो मुझे वो सो इसके पास ना मे बी आई एम डूइंग मिस्टेक इन आई हाई A one no one, but I don't have a three column three. Okay. I don't have any problem three column three in this is correct. Right. 
and this this guy exporting or we are exporting Mm, that's the last option. I will do that. मैं गंदा मजाक कर रहा है यार सिंपल स्मॉल मिस्टेक Information from this side. This one from this side as well. Okay, that's not a big deal. What I'm trying to show you guys, one minute. Okay, I'll check you. What is the mistake is happening? One minute. I'll just pause the recording right now for a few minutes. Okay, and let me change this guy. I uh, I'll solve this one. Why this guy is not getting the OSR? Some mistake is happening. Maybe the some bug is happening. I'll check it. Don't worry. Okay. But they are receiving the route. They are exiting the route, right? R4 and R2 is exiting the route, right? No issue. Is R4? Can I ping this guy? Yeah, I think it's a ping. That's a fair. Hello, guys. 
नहीं करना चाहिए एक बहुत अच्छा कॉन्सेप्ट है आपके साथ गर्दा गर्दा हो गया है Hey guys, do one thing. Do the practical, whatever the things that I did. Okay, I'll show you on the Monday why this thing is not happening. Maybe some bug is happening because one thing that I will show you, right? Uh, the concept of OSPF. Okay, what happened in that case? Your control plane will be up, right? But your data plane will be most. amazing troubleshoot you can to you will have your route you will have this route in your routing table right you will have this route in your routing table but still you cannot send your data traffic even you know one thing even all the levels of all the routing table is working fine all the ampls is working fine all the ampls is working fine everything a pretty single thing is working fine but even what happen you can't send your data traffic क्यों अभी बता दूंगा तो फिर पढ़ाने का क्या फायदा होगा है ना चल मैं पढ़ाऊंगा कब बताऊंगा क्यों ठीक है पहले तो एक काम करना अभी जाके ना ये प्रैक्टिकल करना अभी थर्ड फ्लोर पे ठीक है देखना क्यों नहीं हो रहा है चल मे बी मेरे में नहीं हो रहा वो जीएनएस में ई पे कर लेना प्रैक्टिकल ठीक है गाइस एनी क्वेश्चंस एनीवन नो या वन क्वेश्चन इन व्हेन यू आर रनिंग द कमांड सीएलआई so mpln so mpls interface ha huh? there is a one thing showing a tunnel what is the purpose of that so mpls interface yeah tunnel ke purpose is there mai to socha bhi nahi tha ek minute ko mpls interface tunnel टी के लिए यूज होता है क्या ट्रैफिक इंजीनियर यस टी के लिए ट्रैफिक इंजीनियर व्हाट दे आर डूइंग इन ट्रैफिक इंजीनियर दे आर क्रिएटिंग अ वन टनल लाइट अ सेपरेट पाथ फॉर दैट थिंग एंपलस इज गोइंग टू द टनल कंसेप्ट लाइक इन आवर ओन सिनेरियो वी कैन मेक अ टनल बिटवीन आर5 टू आर9 एंड दे आई आई डिडंट कॉन्फिगर द टी ट्रैफिक इंजीनियरिंग That is different things. Yeah, it's totally service spider. It's like a, you know a, what is traffic engineering is going to do. It is going to reserve the complete path from source to destination. Okay, all right. Thank you, Tahir. Done. Any questions? Else? No. Perfect, guys. Sir, sir, one minute. Uh, one one question, sir. Sir, when you do this QoS mapping, sir, on this R5 router, for instance, mm -hmm. right? If you want to prioritize the voice traffic and you want to send it to the other end, so you just beach K R seven R eight R nine, है ना सर? R seven sorry R six R seven R eight. So will this marking be honored in R six R seven R eight when you do? यहाँ पे तो पता है क्या करना पड़ेगा? एक command चलाना पड़ेगा. जो क्यों पता है? PHP क्या करता है पता है? Uh, PHP के because of the PHP ना uh, क्या command है यार? एक मिनट को दिखा दो commands. वो क्या करता है कि तुम इफ यू इम्प्लीमेंट क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस इन द एमपीएलएस वीपीएन ना सो बाय डिफॉल्ट एक्सप्लिसिट इम्प्लिसिट नल इनेबल होता है ठीक है उसको तुमको शायद आई थिंक सो डिसेबल करना करना पड़ता है इन दैट केस राइट देन योर क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस विल बी वर्क इन दैट अदरवाइज व्हाट हैपन दे विल ड्रॉप द पैकेट क्या कमांड था वायरस बुक में कमांड दिया हुआ है एमपीएलएस एमपीएलएस टू लेबल LDP. 
is there something to do with that exp whatever apne ko aa raha hai exactly right 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 kya command pata hai explicit null okay ye hai ek aur ka aaya explicit null ya advert explicit null in place of the implicit null is this command you are going to do with the quality of service i'll show you that do not worry about that once i'm going to teach you the quality of service then i will come back to the this practical and show you this part yes okay fine sir i just had some question regarding that with respect to my work so that's why i wanted to ask yeah i don't mind okay. all good okay jo just need to sign in now okay buddy bye bye uh if you need a hard copy of that book that i gave you on that day okay so you can take from me uh, and you can do the print out okay चलो जी बाय